Welcome on in, guys, and we have a trade recap for you here today on U.S. Steel, where we lost $57.40. We actually could have lost more, but I didn't, and I'll show you why. Uh, that's the recap. So let's get into it. Uh, what? First off, what the freaking hell in the first place am I even doing here with this? I, honestly, I don't... It's not that I don't know. Is I do know, but there wasn't really a need to do this in the first place. I, it was kind of, we were kind of going through a dry spell at the time, not that many trades going on. And I was like, oh, this looks like a good setup. I'll take it. And that's kind of what happened. So that's really what it is. Uh, bigger picture time frame on the weekly. I was looking at US Steel, which is ticker symbol X, and uh, it has been trending down the past couple of weeks. And my thought process here was quite simple. Uh, breaking down below this level, and I'm looking for, you know, a further push. And that's really all it was. And we didn't get it. Uh, now, today, technically speaking, I actually was a little bit skeptical. I was like, eh. If you remember on the live stream, I'm pretty sure I took out, I got out on the live stream this morning. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get out of this somewhere in here. We can actually check out the exact exit that I got and see. My execution was at 37.46. I got in on the short at 35.82 and I got out at 37.46, which was actually a little bit lower like right in here why if we're gonna go down with my momentum strategy we are going to go down i i want to see us move quickly if that's not occurring the trades a dead the trades a dud anyway because it's just not move it's it's just not we don't have momentum so i in these scenarios could let it hit my stop loss and just pretend I don't see it. Or I can come back and check in on it and say, you know what? It's been, you know, a week and a half that I've been in this trade. Let's get out of it. I don't like it. It's bouncing up. I don't like it because I'm, I'm clearly wrong. And that's exactly what I did. A little bit later today, there was actually some news and they did end up pushing up, which my stop loss was at just around 38.45 or 38.50 and change. So it would have hit, which I would have lost another dollar per share on the entire position, which would have put me around like a $80, $90, $100 loss, somewhere in there. So I did save myself from losing a bit more, which I can't complain about. Um, so that was the deal on that one. And we can see so far in this month, there are some AMC partial profits that are not counted yet in here. Um, so we have that to talk about when that, whenever that closes out, but it might not close on Friday, which is tomorrow when I'm filming this video, which will be the last day of the month, which means I don't count it for this month's P&L potentially. So we'll see. But as of right now, um, that will be the third, technically the third red day, even though this was a swing trade. And we have a 63.64% win rate, which is high for me this month with a great average risk reward and a nice P&L of over $1,200, which I can't complain about. So that's the recap. Hope was helpful. That would technically be one, two, three, four, five losers in a row after winning 11 in a row. So there you guys have it. This is the reality of trading. And I show it to you live or not. Well, I do go live, but I show it to you every single day or when I close out every single trade. This trade will mark, I think, trade 1002 tracked, journaled, and logged inside of TradeZilla. Lots of data, but keep feeding me the data because I like it. And I think if you've been watching the, the recaps, from when they began, I think you will notice that we have gotten a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. And I do contribute that in a large way to having this data. Because when you have this data, you have the confidence to make the decisions that you're making. Whereas if you don't have the data, you don't have the confidence, in my opinion. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.